Hey everyone, Steve again with Class A Surfacing. Today I'm going to talk a little bit of, uh, more about why I like to design across a center plane rather than simply stopping short at the center plane and then doing a symmetry. So here I have my slabs and uh, they end across my ZX plane. So just to show you, I'm going to go into surface, create a face blend. And I want to face blend these two. So let's see, I got my tangent uh, symmetrical. I can do uh, curvature symmetrical if I want to. You'll notice it's going to ask for a spine curve. I have a line set up for my spine curve. And I want to be very uh, meticulous with this, right? I want to, I'm going to pick this line. It runs across the center line. And um, you know, this is to show you that I, I don't have to do this with a spine as well, but I'm trying to remove every single variable to show you why it's still better to go in uh, design across the center plane rather than stop and then symmetry. So I pick my spine curve, I have a nice blend in, select OK, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, mirror the geometry. I'm going to mirror this, and let me get my... There we go, and select OK. Now that I have that in, I'm just going to hide these two guys, and I'm going to go into analysis. Reflection, I'm going to pick these. And you'll notice that when I do my reflection analysis across my center plane, there, everything looks fantastic. It's beautiful. Um, I'll just go to a regular old shaded. Here, I'm going to go a... Uh, I can do a surface or deviation gauge, right, uh, between curve and surface, or I can do a surface continuity. In this case, I'll do surface continuity. Whoops, wrong edge. There we go. I want to pick that edge to there. Now, this looks like it's a big error. You can see I have um, just a tiny little uh, error. It's a 0.45 in the G3. If I go to G1, you'll see I have no real appreciable um, errors. If I hit uh, show out of tolerance only, you'll see that it's not out of my tolerance. My tolerance here is half a degree. Um, if I tighten this up a little bit, you'll still see it's still good. If I go to positional, you'll see there's no problems with position. You'll see there's no problems with the G2. And the only real area that I have an issue with is G3. And mind you, I have different uh, methods in which to uh, check this. So you'll see in most methods, everything's okay. When I get to mean, I have an issue with G2 across that C plane. Visually, it looked perfect. And um, here is where things begin to get a little tricky. So I'm going to double click on my face blend. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to change this from symmetrical. And I'm just going to simply say circular. Okay. And that's going to get rid of my spine string. Select OK. Now here, once again... I'll uh, verify that everything looks good across my center plane. You can see, yep, no breaks. Everything is perfectly smooth. Now when I do my uh, continuity, you'll see here, without the spine, I actually got a slightly better result. Um, and let me turn my tolerance out of tolerance only. You'll notice that I have less things that are out of tolerance. So again, depending upon what options you specify, mean I'll get a boo boo with the with G2, G3 is still fine. Um, but in this case, I have a better result. It's nice and smooth across the center. Now here's here's where it gets a little uh, dangerous. This is where I get a little um, worried about what you're looking at. Now you'll notice that those control points bunched up, right? I have this. Uh, face blend stopping at the center. I don't have to go back and trim it or split the surface. But again, the system likes to overbuild and then trim back. So if I left the face blend to uh, a long trim or no trim, it's going to build out to those places. And you'll see how complex that face blend can be. Um, if I just look simply at the one, whoops, there we go. Thought I had it picked. You'll see here a fairly complex face blend. So 
again, if I pick this and I say show knots, you'll notice that I have multiple patches, internal patches, those knots surfaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is, again, a relatively complex surface for that secondary. Now, when I symmetry that, I'm doubling up on that level of complexity. It looks great. It fits what I need, but again, it's really complex. All right, now I'm going to hide those. I'm going to get these two surfaces. And, and just so you can see, right, these surfaces are built very similar to the previous video, which I'll link to at the end of this. And now you can see that these are basically identical, one laying on top of the other. The control points, um, and and again, just to sort of uh, uh, get it out of the way, let me go to show poles. You'll see how simple that is. Show knots, no knots, no poles, or, or complex poles. And if I go to the other surface, go here, whoops, there we go. And I say show poles. You can see that this other surface, yeah, actually let me turn that one off. This other surface is, again, incre incredibly simple. It's basically a three, uh, three by three or two degree, two degree. That's it. Very, very simple surfaces. That's all I'm working with. So now, I'll just get rid of those. I'm going to go ahead and apply my face blend. Go to surface, we'll go to face blend, this to this. And in this case, I'm just going to simply use uh, rolling ball and constant. And I'm just going to say circular. Remember, the other one gave us uh, issues with the, um, uh, the non-circular or the curvature. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Now, with that, I'm going to go ahead and hide these surfaces. I'm going to go ahead and analyze this reflection this guy because I don't have a boundary across the center we know it's going to be perfect there's nothing to measure because the other surfaces are perfect if I look at the poles on this you'll notice that across this area where once it was fairly complex it is now very very simple and very very clean all the complexity is out at the ends if I go and double click on this face blend and you'll say it's short and I say long, or let me say none, actually. You'll see that it wants to run it out even further. And that's where those control points run out. That's where I start getting this bunching of those uh, control points at those ends where the system automatically wants to extrapolate that length. And it did that even as I stopped it at that center plane. Now, I can use a different tool to do that blend. I can go in there and use an... Uh, end-sided surface I could go in there and use a through curve maybe through curve mesh if I drew in all those curves as well but to use just a simple face blend or one of the other blending methods uh, you end up with a very similar result so here I have uh, the simplest surface that I can come up with and you'll notice in this case um, all of my patches are running just simply in one direction. In the opposite direction, I don't have that issue. Now, if I double click on this once again, and I look at my uh, settings, for instance, right? you have your tolerance, you can play with the tolerance. Um, you also have the ability, if you want to, um, let's go to uh, trim blend, we'll leave the trim blend. Actually, you know, that's good. If I use uh, some of the other methods, I may be able to even simplify this even further because I, uh, let's say like a through curve. With a through curve, I can draw in my curves and then um, I have an option for the level of complexity. Some of the other blend features, I can also do a rebuild and the, the rebuild would simplify this even further. But by simply creating those big large slabs across the center plane that are nice, perfectly balanced, and then building my blends across the center plane, I'm removing a whole lot of complexity that does not need to be there. Simplify is the model. So everything that I do from here on out is going to give me a much simpler shape. Now, again, if I go back in here and I want to change this to 
my uh, curvature symmetric, pick my line. Here you can see I've added a little complexity. I have another um, patch in the V direction. But uh, if you look at the amount of math, the amount of control points that I have, again, I've greatly reduced those because uh, the spine is um, changing a, the basic shape. Um, and I expected to have an additional patch on that because, again, I'm going to curvature rather than just a simple circular shape. But this is still a relatively simple surface. There's not a whole lot of math in here considering um, what I could end up with if I had built it at half and then symmetried it. Even remember, remember the other option was even with the spine across that center plane, I was getting an additional uh, grouping or a bunching of math. And again, you can do this without any history, but you, we can do this without any parameters and, and use the, some of the tools within our uh, um, Shape Studio to get those results, clean them up. Now, if you really want to, you can go in here and do the same with this, right? You can go into uh, Refit Face or even X Form and pick that surface. And as you can see, you know, it's a fairly complex surface, but as I drop this down, I'm not deviating very much. That's uh, 0 0.003 of a mil. Some more, some more, some more, and I can increase this. All right, so this is 0 0.02 of a mil is how much I'm deviating off of the original. Now I can do something similar to this with the uh, um, the surface built to the halfway point as well. But again, now I have not only a tolerance here, but then when I symmetry that tolerance, I may be compounding that tolerance once again because I'm building it half and then symmetrying it. So if I have another surface that needs to be built off of this, maybe I have a, a corner out at the outer ends that need to be built. Um, I could potentially be creating issues uh, further out as well. So that's my preference, once again, to build a surface across the center plane. I think you end up with a cleaner result. You end up with less complexity. The initial primary slab, which are typically your easiest to build, um, may not be as easy as simply just uh, extruding off of the center plane as you saw, but the secondaries are much cleaner, tertiaries are much cleaner, and everything downstream is just much easier, simpler math, and uh, that's, again, my preference. Thanks for watching. If you like, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care.